There's a ton of news to go over today from guaranteed rewards for everyone, new pick'ems and world's content, a mythic skin everyone's been waiting for, RP changes and a lot more. First up there's a couple of missing rewards from the LEC and EU Masters finals and they were icons which were given as drops, however they didn't appear on people's accounts, while it turns out they've only just been data mined on the PvE so they weren't even in the game files yet, so you'll probably get these added to your account over the next couple of patches. Next up this year's pick'ems for worlds have finally been announced and they've given us dates for each stage of the pick'ems. So starting on September 18th you'll be able to do your crystal ball and play-ins picks and you'll have until September 25th so you'll have one week to do these picks and then after that there will be separate picks for the Swiss and knockout stages so keep these dates in mind it's best to check before the next stage begins if you've completed all your pick'ems at each stage. There will also be five guaranteed pick'em rewards if you make a crystal ball pick, your Swiss picks, a quarterfinal pick, a semi-final pick and a finals pick. You'll get three capsules and two emotes. And just like last year there will be more rewards based on how you place with your pick'em and crystal ball picks. So if you end up scoring top 70% of all people for both pick'em and crystal ball you'll get a guaranteed emote for Galio and Briar. You'll also get some eSport capsules too. And to get the Teemo and Oriana emotes you'll have to score at least top 20% of all people. And if you manage to score top 5% of everyone you'll also get 100 event pass tokens and four esport capsules and if someone somehow manages to get perfect picks they'll get all seven ultimate skins so a really good reward but i don't think someone even got this last year so it's very hard to do and if you manage to get top 5000 in either pick'em or crystal ball you'll get given a free world's 2024 viago skin as well as champion so there's at least an incentive to aim for top 5000 there are also going to be other guaranteed rewards for everyone if you tune into certain moments throughout the world's tour there will be 4 unique emotes and 3 icons. All you have to do is make sure you're watching worlds from the LOL esports website at these specific moments. So there's one for opening day of play-ins, then Swiss week 1, Swiss week 2, then quarter final day 1, semi final day 1, the finals opening ceremony and the trophy lift ceremony. And on top of those guaranteed rewards there will also be random drops for every pentacle, dragon steel and baron steel where you'll get esports capsules. And during the finals they'll be adding quadra kill to the capsule drop pool. So if you own all the emotes it's a good way to farm some extra orange essence. And speaking of orange essence, someone asked Riot if there's anything they'll be able to do with all these skin shards and orange essence that people have stacked up over the years. And Ryder Drew Levin responds, hold on to them for now, I hear you and it's a problem we want to solve for players like you. No details to share yet. So this means they are working on something but we don't know what it is. It could be an orange essence shop or sink. If you do want to then they recommend holding on to your shards or orange essence for now. Next up this week's skin sale was live and we've got another legendary going on sale for one time only and this time it's for high noon Yone. So a few people have been waiting for the skin so this is the week to get it. It won't go on sale again because it's a legendary skin and it costs 1350 RP in the store now. And speaking of RP Riot have announced another price increase to their virtual currencies and starting on September prices across all their games will go up. And something to note is before these changes go live on September 18th they'll be offering extra bonus RP for people in regions where prices are going up. So what I recommend is check this chart to see if prices are going up in your region and if you were planning on getting the world's pass or buying RP for worlds then I recommend doing it before September 18th and you'll also get some RP bonuses as well. Now for some regions the prices are actually going down and if that's the case for you then I recommend don't buy RP until after they go down because obviously it'll be cheaper then. So double check this chart you have until September 18th to stock up on RP and you might even get some bonuses and save a few dollars. Moving on Riot have released a full calendar for the world's 2024 event with all the skin releases, the pick'ems and when the games are played. Now there's also going to be a world's unlock 2024 collector's edition for 99 US dollars. This will come with both physical and digital items and for the digital items there's some exclusive rewards like a Viego skin chroma, icon and a couple of emotes. Now it doesn't seem like you'll be able to get a digital only bundle this time. So if you do want to get this you have to buy the collector's edition for $99. They might add a digital only bundle later but it hasn't been announced anywhere. And speaking of the event Ultimate Spellbook will be returning for Worlds 2024. So this is the game mode which is coming back and it hasn't been seen in a while so hopefully this is good news for a lot of people. Next up Julix Gameplays has also revealed some rewards for the Worlds event pass. These are what some of the pass bundle or reward emotes look like. And just like every event there will be 300 token chromas. Moving on to 
into this week's mythic shop rotation. So for this week patch 14.18, Ashen Knight Pike will be returning alongside Hextech Annie. So for a lot of people this is good news. I know people have been asking about this for a very long time and Ashen Knight Pike is finally in the store. And he'll remain there for 3 months so you have plenty of time to farm the pass and get the mythic essence needed. There's also the Crystallis Nautilus skin which is available now. Also in this week's patch notes Riot have announced changes to bots in the game and apparently it looks like they're going to be putting bots in some of the normal modes as well not ranked but normal queues and these bots will only appear in the first few normal games so it looks like Riot are kind of copying Fortnite or heading in that direction where they're chucking bots in the PvP modes however unlike Fortnite it's only there for a few normal modes and then you should be versing real players after a few normal games this is obviously to help new players on new accounts a much demanded change is happening to ARAM people have been asking for a while now about the surrender time which randomly got changed to 12 minutes about a year ago and they never changed it back well now it's back to 8 minutes next up there might be some good news for people who own all skins in the game last time Riot did the anniversary event which was the 10 year one people who owned every skin got offered a rare or limited skin now it was noted this was a one time exception now I have no idea if they'll offer it again for the 15 year anniversary but there's a small chance they could offer it so if you do own every skin in the game then it could be worth making a cheeky ticket and asking if that's the case for the 15 year event. It's a small chance but it might work. Next up there was a post on reddit saying that season 15 might actually have some really good changes that a lot of people are starting to get hyped about. Which is different to what Riot Meddler said the other week where it was actually overhyped saying that league would change forever. Meddler said it was a bit of an oversell and it wasn't anything too crazy or new. Well apparently Tyler One and some others are hyping this up again because they may have some inside info about this. So apparently there are going to be some exciting changes next year. And Barack Obama sarcastically responds saying the plan was 200 blue essence and an icon. So obviously he's being sarcastic there but I did find it funny that they did acknowledge that meme of rewards being trash lately. And moving on the official LOL esports account has been dropping hints that there might be a collaboration between Linkin Park and League of Legends for either Worlds or Arcane. So either they're baiting everyone or it's very likely that Linkin Park will be releasing a song for Worlds or Arcane. Arcane, and LOL Esports replied with an emoji of a crown. And what's interesting is Linkin Park have a song scheduled for release in November called Heavy Is The Crown. And in November is when we have both World's Final and Arcane Season 2. So it's looking very likely that Heavy Is The Crown will be the theme song for either Worlds or Arcane. So this is pretty exciting news. Let me know below if you are hyped for this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.